going to make a beef chili. So I'll show you how I make it and it's really good. And I'll show you my ingredients and the stuff I put. So I've got, I measured everything just to make it easier. I have two in it, two cups and a quarter cup of beef here, uncooked beef. I've got one cup of chopped onion and I've got um, half cup of green pepper and right here I have uh, one chili uh, pepper, so just one. And then I've got four cups of uh, kidney beans and, and also I've got uh, four uh, cheese sauce. This is going to go in uh, just a little later, uh, about one cup and I've got diced tomato. And I've got chili style beans that also is gonna go at last 20 minutes of cooking. And the spices I've got here is uh, I have here one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of brown sugar, half teaspoon, a half tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoon of uh, house club chili. So that's for the um, it gives all that good flavor the chili and I've got one tablespoon of paprika and one teaspoon of uh, black pepper so those are the spices I'm gonna use so I have three tablespoon of oil which I'm going to add my um, ground beef and it's gonna be uh, cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes before I add my, my beef uh, in my pot I just break it down like this and I'm going to cover it um, on a medium high for about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's minutes that uh, my beef has been on the stove on a medium high, so we're gonna just break it in kind of like a um, big lumps in here, and then I break it down, and now it's time to add my onions. So I'm going to cook with my onions for about about another 10 minutes. I just want my um, onions to get softened and cook. Here's after 10 minutes on a medium high, and um, now I'm going to add, or you can have it on a high um, for five minutes so it's, it's up to you really to do that and I'm going to add all my spices so all my spices are going to just for like a minute I'm going to stir it and just to get all that flavor in and um, for about a minute I'm going to be stirring it uh, I can't do it with one hand so here it is with how it looks all that seasoning has got like a toasted or roasted whatever you call it and it's going to give it a great flavor. Now it's time to add my beans. And so for a cup of bean, I just drained it. I didn't wash it. And if you like, you can wash the beans. But I didn't do that so much. I have, uh, I also have here, I've got two and a half cups, actually around three cups of uh, diced tomato. Um, I didn't measure that. It. it was in the can, so three cups go in. And I've got two cups of water. If you want, you can add um, beef stock. I don't have beef stock, so uh, green pepper and chili too. And I'm gonna stir it well. And I'll show you. It looks like it's gonna be on the stove for an hour and a half to two hours. And uh, I'll show you how it looks. So here is my um, chili. It's been on the stove for an hour and 15 minutes. And I'm going to uh, just mash it with my spoon a little bit like this. And I will do that a little bit. And I'm going to add my, uh, the whole cheese sauce. So I have one cup here I'm going to uh, add. And I have also, this is the ones I said we're gonna put last. And I have this uh, uh, chili style. Um, let's see here, what is this? There you go. It says uh, chili style, bean chili style, and it's very creamy and it's, it's going to give this nice flavor uh, to it. So I'm going to add those. And then it's my salt, the cheese one, and my beans. So I'm going to stir it well and smash it a little bit with my uh, uh, spoon, and then it's going to be on for another, well, to, to be like two hours. So. It's been 15 minutes for another 45 minutes. So here's my chili. It's been on for two hours. And as you can see, it's still a little watery. But I like it like that because you can eat it with rice or dip your bread in it. 
um, it's however you eat it. If you want, if you don't like it this um, watery, instead of two cups of water, you can put one or one and a half. So it's all done, and um, I'll show you how to serve it. Hi, I'm going to show you uh, the way I serve chili. So I have here uh, pita bread. One pita bread is just uh, our pita bread. So I put it in the plate, and I have uh, this delicious butter. It's my favorite butter. And I'm going to just uh, spread my bread with the butter. So I have to So here is I buttered all my bread. As you can see, I put a lot of butter. I love butter. So I'm going to cut this just like a pizza uh, cut slices. So I'm going to cut them all like this. It's easier to cut now than uh, the it gets part. So I'm going to cut it all like this to a little pieces. And uh, I'm going to put in a microwave for about 40 to 60 seconds but you really have to stand by so I'm gonna stand by watch it until it gets all get kind of golden brown and really hard and I'll take it so out. Here's my bread that I buttered put in a microwave and actually put it for a minute and uh, 10 seconds. It depends on your microwave so how good it is. As you can see it's all crunchy, it looks like chips. So here's uh, my other way to uh, serve my chili. So here's my chili, it's done. That's how I serve it. And these are just a uh, pita bread I buttered it and put in my grave and they're hard like a chips. And you eat with it. And we're going to garnish it with some of this uh, cheese. And um, there you have it. I hope you enjoy making it and eating it.